Kevin, it smells okay. like okay. team spirit here. Yesterday, we brought you the story of a woman who tested the policy <laughs> of a Super 8 hotel in Kentucky, their pet policy. Can I keep my horse in the room? Oh and they gosh. said, of course. Yeah. Well, it uh, turns out she is from our area and was watching breakfast television yesterday and said, hey, that was me and my horse. Good morning, Lindsay. <laughs> uh, your horses are beautiful. And sometimes, you know, Mother Nature calls. And this is what would pose a problem in a hotel <laughs> is what just happened here in the studio. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. We, yeah, don't. We won't pan down. We won't tilt <laughs> down. We won't. Suffice to say, we should open a few more windows and doors here. <laughs> and we you're apologize from... to City Line, who is coming up next, all the audience. <laughs> you're, you're from, you're from Potty Pool, which is a in the as we always say everything's out in the Peterborough area so it's out in the, the Peterborough area tell us about you you were down first of all in Kentucky for what reason we were down there for something run by the retired racehorse project which is called the thoroughbred makeover and basically it's a competition where hundreds of thoroughbreds come down to compete and it's a great initiative where you have to have a recently retired racehorse and so basically that's because a lot of these horses are stereotyped for being really hot-headed being really unruly and so the Retired Racehorse Project is really trying to show people that these horses can do things after the fact. And is it true that you pick the horses based on photos? It's not I even do. meeting them face to face? I don't why? go see them ahead of time. I don't go um, try them out ahead of time. And that's because I'm just so confident in the Harmony Horsemanship training approach. So I, I really try to get them where they're calm in my presence. Uh, right now I'm feeding them cookies because I don't want them to be <laughs> fidgeting all over the studio. Yeah, that's a that's what we do at Jordy too. Yeah, we um, cookies. So now you go to this hotel, yes. the Super 8. Did you go with the intention of you're going to get that horse in there no matter what, or were you just joking around? Oh my goodness. So basically, uh, we left at like 3 in the morning and we arrive at the hotel and we were just thinking we were going to unload our bags because. Uh, it would be easier for when we were coming back because we wouldn't have yeah. the space in the trailer. Yeah. And so I'm checking in and this guy in front of me has a dog and they're like, oh, it's a $10 pet policy. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know you had a pet policy. I've got my horse in the trailer. Can I bring my horse in? And I, I think she was joking, but she said, well, I don't care. You can bring your horse in. So I kind of look at her like, you don't know who I am and what I normally do. <laughs> Are you sure I can bring my horse in? And she's like, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, sure. We could do a, a silly video or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to ask three times. Let's just go before she changes her mind. <laughs> but you had the foresight to take the photo at the front desk, which is what ultimately went viral. So whose idea was it to take the picture? Uh, it was actually my dad's idea. So my dad was, uh, he, he said it jokingly. Oh, you should bring your horse in the hotel. And I'm like, dad, that's a great idea. And he was like, no, 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 no. I was just joking. I was just, don't, don't do that, Lindsay. Now, and, uh, I presume you got a ground floor room, so you didn't have to use the elevator. Yes, we had a ground floor and, uh, and room. They were with you all night? No, okay, no. Okay, so okay. We just wanted to have some fun. So really, yeah. what I'm all about is trying to show people that thoroughbreds aren't crazy. So I just like to tell people that <laughs> if you have a calm connection, you can take your horse anywhere. And just <laughs> wanted to show people, you know, these thoroughbreds, they're not, you know, crazy and nuts. Yeah. Just, you know, something silly and cute. I'm so surprised at how viral it went. And you said they only sleep three to four hours a night. So yes. you wouldn't make for good roommates anyway. No, you no they would be mauling me for cookies or to turn on the television. <laughs> That's right. or, Did they watch I don't TV? <laughs> she did watch a little bit. I don't know what she thought of it, so, though. So uh, have you been contacted by Super 8 since to sort of say, hey, come on back with your horse? <laughs> no, <laughs> they, uh, they haven't reached out to me. So I'm not sure if I'm banned from Super 8. Or if in I'm... all fairness, though, this was Kentucky. And yes. if anybody knows horses, it's the folks in Kentucky. Exactly. Yeah. So hopefully they weren't too surprised. Lindsay, why do they call or do you call yourself the horse whisperer? You've been given that name. Yes, well, so what happened is Toronto Star did an article on me uh, after one of my horses, Dreamer, was uh, the movie star in the film Unbridled. It's a film that comes out next year. And so basically, I had just taken him to downtown New York City, and we had fun with Dreamer's Day Out in New York City while being down there for the Equus Film Festival. So they did an article on me because I took him to the tavern and I took him uh, all around. We went to Freedom Tower, we went to everything, and uh, that's when they first called me that and then it's kind of caught on since. Well, thanks so much for sharing your love of these beautiful animals this morning and it's such a great story. Thank you so much for having us on. I think it's a good message to share with people that, you know, thoroughbreds can be awesome horses and yeah. I hope that inspires some people. Give your website a plug. Uh, you can learn more about Harmony Horsemanship at harmonyhorsemanship.ca or beautiful. my facility is partridgehorsehill.com. Okay. I'm going to be the horse whisperer right now and say, 
Who's gonna clean up the mess on the floor? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can tell you it won't be her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more breakfast television after this. Kevin, Stay you with us. To go for a ride in the square. For more information, <laughs> everybody, right. PartridgeHorseHill.com. Uh -oh. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Go ahead, Kev. A little urban cowboy.